Sorry, Prince. Oh, my God. You're so awesome. All right, everybody. Uh, four minutes before the game, but everyone's here. We got a full table, so there's no reason not to start. So we are going to start. Uh, all right, guys. So the party is currently uh, about to take a long rest. Um, the players that were here last time rolled an encounter for the long rest. So as this long rest is happening, you guys will be having an encounter. So let's pop on over to the party sheet and set the watch order. Uh, who would like to take... So there'll be four shifts and two of you will be on... Or, you know, two shifts will have two people on it. Purple takes second shift. Well, Toklon can see in the dark, so I'll take a dark of night shift. I'll take a first. Number one. Who? Yeah. Loyal, Loyal one. What did uh, Burke said he was taking which one? Second. Okay, so... Go ahead, anybody else? Malavik, Scrappy, Keldon? I'll Toklon share. will do three. Yeah, I'll do a first. I'll share first with somebody. I didn't see who said first. Uh, so I'll do second. And that leaves Scrappy for fourth because nobody took it. So Scrappy on fourth. Okay, so who's not on the loyal? Loyal is not. And we're missing Tokalon. Oops, hello. I stacked those tokens so you guys can fix this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Who am I missing? Scrappy, Tokalon, Burr. Oh, I'm missing Kel uh, Keldon. Keldon. Yeah, okay. So if you guys put yourself where you want to be around the fire. And then... Um, there is a there is an encounter, so we don't need to roll for it. I just need to find out which shift it's on. So it is going to be on the second shift. So the map hasn't come up for me yet. I so we got to go to the party. Go to I the party sheet. I reshared it. Uh, go to the party Are you sheet. Talking about the one with the fire pit. Yeah, yeah. And the party sheet on the order tab. You guys need to place your tokens around the fire pit where you would be during your rest. And then we'll. Do you see this right? Because mine's like... Oh, all right. It's on the party sheet. I got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Do, do I see this right? Because what? I have like I'm, four fires. Yeah, I've got like four fires, a couple different paths. Um. So do you guys blow yours way up? Yeah. If you if you make the, the, the sheet larger, the background doesn't scale. Yeah, also you can scroll back on it. You should only see four... Tiles: one with a fire, one with a path, one with a boat, uh, a cart, and one with another path. Okay, there yeah. we go. Okay. But if you guys, no, if, yeah, if you guys scale your your interfaces to anything other than something crazy like eighty or hundred, then it's gonna be all crazy. But like right uh, now, what? it's because you guys have the party screen full size. You can just ignore that. If you you gotta close it down until it's only like a third of the size of your map that's in the background oh yeah the the party sheet should only be taking up like a quarter of your screen i mean if you make yeah. it bigger than that then it's going to get all jacked so all like, right for, for example where do you see malavik sitting right now because i'm sitting on the He's, left side of the fire yeah i see him uh three squares away from the fire to the left which is fine that's weird okay because yeah i've got him in my screen sitting right on the fire yeah, so your your scale is somehow jacked, but we that's not I'm not going to fucking waste time with it. it we, we make it work. Plus when we get the map up, you're going to place yourself accordingly anyway. So Right on. Okay, that's fine. Uh All right, so tokens. 
fire. So according to how you placed your tokens on the order tab, place your tokens uh, around the fire here, and I'll move them as soon as I get the monsters for this level four party of six encounter. What's up? So a big encounter, basically. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, when you know, just let me know if um, I need to remove armor. Uh, it's shift two that has the encounter. So everybody who's not on shift two should take their armor off, unless one of you people have the weapon of warning. Uh, I got a feat that allows me to sleep in my armor. Okay, then that's fine. Does anybody have a weapon of warning? No, that's your Osh's bow. Is it? Okay. So yeah, everybody who's not on shift two that doesn't have a special feat or something that allows them to wear their armor, uh, take your armor off. Yeah, I don't have any armor. I'm not going to use ravens because it's bullshit. We get that all the time. What, what else can we get? All right, what, whatever this is. Oh, okay. Uh, Keldon, roll a d6 in the chat. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. Only one elder dragon this time. Two. It was two last time when we rolled a one. Depends on what the formula is. The formula could be anything. Like it could be 5 plus 1d6 or whatever. Double it, add 30. It's a metric conversion. <laughs> this encounter was 1d6 minus 1. Right? So, no so it's no monsters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, you were rolling how many d20s worth of monsters, so you, there's only one d20. <laughs> okay, so... Who's on watch two? Keldon. And somebody else, right? Burke, Burke. Okay, so everybody else is unconscious. Burke. Scrappy's unconscious. Tokalon. Loyal. Malavik. Uh, you guys all went to sleep. Wasn't that so lovely? Okay, so as you guys are sleeping and Burke and Keldon both uh, roll uh, perception, please. With that unconscious, do you want us prone as well? Um, you are prone just by definition, but I will I will take that into consideration. Okay. Okay, so Burke, you see to the north uh, two guys coming out of the trees, and everybody can roll initiative. Seems like we should be hearing some sword sounds there, but I don't know why we're not. The sounds are working. Oh, interesting. That sound did not get put in there. Interesting. As long as it's interesting, not like we're about to die interesting. No, no. Hmm. That's always interesting. TPK that by is some kind of crap. Let me check something. Modules, sounds. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'm not going to take the time to fix it now, but I'll have to make a note about that. Put that right down there. So we won't have initiative sounds today. Okay, so Burke, you are first to act. You do notice that uh, you hear a lumbering in the trees. Um, that noise is because you have guidance on your next ability check, I believe. So you notice that these things are coming uh, from the north. You, you can't quite see them yet, but you know they're there, so you can act accordingly. All right, uh, Burke is going to <laughs> and uh, fly twenty feet in the air. Okay, everybody who's asleep can make a perception check. You want that in the tower or out in the open? Doesn't matter. Uh, why did that not show up in the chat? If you did it in the tower, it doesn't show up. I didn't. I did it. I just double clicked on my. Oh, I see it. You got a twenty-one. It's probably going to come soon. Oh, you lost connection. It says that's why. You oh, got a. Weird. You got a okay. twenty-one. So. Uh, yeah. So Malavik and. Uh, loyal, wake up. The other two do not. All right. So Burke flies up twenty and then does what? Um, Burke is going to ready a dart um, if they come within ten feet of us. Okay. Anything else? Uh, pass turn. Killed on. Uh, you heard Burke make a noise, so um, you can look and you'll notice that there's some movement in the trees there. You can't quite see them, but you know they're there. I'll yell to wake up the party as loud as I can. Or as okay, nice the two that are sleeping can roll um, percent, I mean, uh, Per, um, perceptions with advantage. Alright, Scrappy wakes up. Somebody else needs to roll. Yeah, it's me. Sorry, I'm just getting there. And uh, Tokalon wakes up as well. All right, I'm going to look around. I, I have a hard time believing we're just going to get attacked from one side with our fire burning at night. Okay, so you want to look uh, around You want to look yeah. around to some other areas to see if there's yeah. anybody else? Okay, so roll a perception check. Okay, so you spend your turn looking all the other directions, like east, west, and south, and you do not see anybody else. You only hear the noise in the trees that are above you to the north. Okay, well, I'll ready my crossbow. And what's the trigger? When I can see something uh, that's that I can attack. Let's see. I'm going to assume you mean an enemy. Okay, enemy, anything else? Yeah. No, that's... Okay, Malavik, you are prone. I will stand up. All right. Um, I hear the noise to the north. Do I have visual yet? You, you can tell there's rumbling in the trees. You could attack at range from there, but they have full cover. So if you did, it'd just be a minus five. All right, I will... Actually, but if you did a like a saving throw cantrip or something, you could do it. No, nope, I will just ready an action if they come toward us and act aggressively, um, and we know that they're an enemy. I will attack. Ready, ready. What action? Elders, elders blast. Sorry. And your trigger is if they come toward you. If they yes come toward us hostily, and I do know that they're an enemy, then I will attack. 
Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it for right now. Okay, Scrappy, you're prone. I'm going to stand up. All right, you do. I'll uh, ready my weapon. If they come with melee damage, just swing away. Okay. Uh, so, the first guy... is going to do something. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, all of the sudden, right next to... Uh, as a matter of fact, between Scrappy and Malavik, appears a weapon of a spiritual nature. And it attacks Malavik. And hits Malavik and does one force damage. Boo. And also uh, a spear comes flying at Scrappy and I had two people targeted, that's what happened. Uh, so Scrappy gets hit with a spear and what the fuck is happening with this damage? Melee or ranged attack, blah, 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 one target. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. So you take uh, six damage, and it is Tokalon, who is prone. All right, Tokalon gets up. He does. That was not meant to sound like a question. That, that was meant as a statement. He does. Then moves a little bit. Okay. They're within uh, dark vision range, so can I see them? Or are they obscured by the vegetation there? Um, They would have... From where you are, they would have concealment. So I would say you can't see them because that you're looking through like three trees to see them. Okay. Then I guess I'm just waiting here, ready for them to do something stupid. Okay, are you going to ready an action, or are you just going to hang out? I will ready a ray of frost action for when I can see somebody to shoot at. Okay. So the next guy... Uh... Scrappy and Malavik might be able to see. There's like there's some strange movement in the where these guys are in the bushes. Maybe you think they're a guy's waving his arms is maybe what you think is happening. Like casting a spell. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. Or, or hailing a cab, one or the other. He might be hailing a cab. And that's all he does. So, Loyal, you are prone. I'll stand up. Okay. Walk up here. Okay. I'll target both of them with a blood geyser. Okay. What what gives you an a why did you have an extra d4 on those? 
uh, an extra D4? Yeah, you rolled... It yeah. looks like it did 44 to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm right. talking about something else. Okay, so... No, no, never mind. No, my bad. Blast. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Just, just leave me alone. I'm fucking out of my mind. Uh, I was looking at those as an attack, and they were saved, so I, that's what confused me. Okay, so the one that casts is number eight, and he succeeded. Okay, so, okay, so yeah, you did damage. Uh, you did one. You did full, and then half to another. Uh, so it's fine. Uh, anything else? And then, as a bonus action, I will use my racial ability hidden step to turn invisible. Okay, that's fine. Boom. Invisible. Alright, round two. Malavik is up. Alright. Um... How does a spiritual weapon work for movement? Will it will it get an op attack if I move? It does not. So you're safe from that. Is all right. Before you approve, is that a tree there as well? Like that would block vision or anything? No, that's no just a bush. Just... That's probably just a bush. Okay, I'm going to move there then. Okay. Still no line of sight on those guys, though? Well, I mean, again, they're they're in the trees, so you do have line of sight, but if you're going to do a ranged weapon, there's going to be cover. So it depends. If you're, if you're doing a save, you can see them. So you can do like what Loyal did. You can do a save thing. But if it's a ranged attack, there's penalties. All right, yeah, I was going to do a, just an Eldritch Blast at him since it's a cantrip. So is that a ranged attack? It is, yeah. So you're at a minus five on that. All right, yeah, I'm just going to do that. That's fine. Oh, crud. Uh, which one Did were you attacking? The number three. I thought I... Nope, it didn't take it. Weird. Yeah, number okay, three. Okay, so that, that's a miss. All right. That is it for right now, then. Okay. Uh, Keldon. I guess I'll move to there and wait. Okay. It seems like what everybody's doing. This guy is... Looks at loyal. I'm invisible. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you're right. I'll apply that to Scrappy instead. Ah, oh, jeez. Worth a shot, sorry man. Oh, it's not gonna. Okay. okay. So. Uh, Scrappy succeeds on the save, so whatever was going to happen doesn't happen. Uh, Tokalon. Um, would more light make it easier to see these dudes? Not really, because you're where from where you are, you're looking through three trees to see them, and and plus they have cover, so you need to move out into the open to see them. It's not a it's not a matter of light; it's a matter of you know. Yeah, then I'll do a dash uh, action and just run over here. Okay. Uh, Scrappy. I'm going for it. Screaming at the top of my lungs. Okay. R right up. Oh, let me redo that. <laughs> On top of him? Okay. Yeah. Literally running into so him. When in you, his face. So when you get to there, you'll be in melee range and you will not have any penalties. All right. Then I am going to swing. Okay. That goddamn uh 
That is a hit. And that will be my turn, sir. Okay, that goddamn extension is screwing with my crap. Okay, so this guy. Did your bless fall off? Well, it, it I have the concentration extension in, so what it does is it it removes if somebody fails a concentration save, it removes the the spell. But the guy that failed wasn't the guy that cast it, so it should still be on because yeah. the guy that cast, you know what I mean. So it fucking took it off, and I, I don't like it. Yep. All right, so this guy, I don't even know why. By the way, they this guy has a spell that takes one minute to cast. I don't even know fucking why they list that shit on there. What's he gonna do? I'll be with you in ten rounds. All right, so this guy is going to first. He's gonna do his uh, spiritual weapon, which is going to. Oh, no, it's going to attack Keldon, but it's got to be. All right, we're going to have to. What's your AC, Keldon? Nineteen. Shit. OK, so. Well, he fucking fumbled anyway, so fuck it. Uh, and then as his action, he's going to try to spear Scrappy. Spear. And he misses. What a punk-ass bitch. Burt Perkins. Oh. Uh, Burt? Going to fly over to here. Okay. Um, drop the dart, pull out the spear, swoop down to here. Okay. And attack this guy. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I still have key points. Well, you got you got a short rest in the last game, so you didn't you get them all back or something? Yeah, we had the we had the chat short rest, and we got the key points back, and then we used them all. I don't remember if we took a rest after that. I don't. So do you not do you not have a key point that. counter on your sheet? You don't do that. I do, um, but they're all empty. But I don't oh, remember so then yeah, so then you we would have emptied them. So. You, well, you probably did Fury of Blows or Fangs of the Fuck or whatever the fuck you guys do. <laughs> but if you, I mean, so, if your sheet says you don't have them, then you don't have them. Okay, cool. Then I will use them. Um, I will attack with my spear. I'm targeting somebody. Oh, why, why am I there and not here? So I'm going to go over there. I don't know. I don't know what and you're doing. That way I have advantage. Okay. I mean, I use most of my movement, so I'm not going to be able to fly as high. And the remove extension isn't on, by the way. Ah, crap. Not again. You know what? I'm going to probably, uh, after this encounter, I might shut the table down and put on the remove encounter and take out the concentration one. Because no. I, like I don't like the way that works. I swear to God, I checked the, the... Anyway, go ahead. I thought I checked for that remove encounter, but I must not have. All right, so I will attack with a spear. That is a crit. crit. No, no, no effect. Uh, damage. Uh, uh okay. He his thing. Fa okay, so they lose bless. Awesome. That uh, is kind of a snake. I think I do like that thing. Okay, go ahead. And Fury of Blow. Because. Why not? So, Fix of the Fire Snake. With advantage. Whoop. That is a miss. And then one more time. With feeling. 
with the wing. Yeah, that's that's a hit for sure. And then magical additional damage. And you put him into heavy status. And uh, 30 feet, 10 feet, 40 feet down. Ah, all right. I guess I can't fly, so remove my 20 up 20 feet. Okay. Last turn. Loyal, you are up. Run up there. I will use Shillelagh as I'm going, as a bonus okay. action, and take a swing with my staff. All right. You hit with your Shillelagh. And you do damage. Wow. Never right? gonna stop. Oh, it's going to stop because I just... I'm going to change my name. Yeah, I, I'll change the name of the, on the attack. I just put Shillelagh as a... With an apostrophe in it. Uh, anything else for Loyal? All right, round three, everybody. I oh, should, no. Huh? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. I shouldn't. I should have had um, advantage on that attack, but we're good. I think because I was still invisible. Nope, I'm wrong. That thing's gone. Uh, when you're once you attack, you're not visible, right? Or you you become visible? Yeah, it's till it's it's invisible to the start of my next turn, so I would have turned in turned yeah. invisible right away. And it it uh, it went off when you started your turn. So, all right, so this guy is gonna be like, what the hell is going on? And he's gonna turn right around and get the guy who just got him, or try. Uh, no. As a matter of fact, every single one, uh, every single one of you gains an extra inspiration, but you must use it on your next turn. Deal. Excellent. And he fucked up. Uh, loyal. So you have an inspiration to use here. I'll be swinging with advantage with my staff. Okay. That is a miss. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Keldon, you have inspiration to use here. Uh, I got inspiration at the beginning too, right? I yeah, you you, ha you have two currently, but you need to use one this turn or it goes away. Right. I understand. I'm going to move. Okay. To there. All right. Very badly with my crossbow. You can you can re-roll. I'm assuming you wanted to do that at advantage, and oh, that right, should have right. also been at a negative five. So you didn't tell me what you were doing, so I didn't give you your penalty. So you can you oh, can it's still at negative five. Yeah, they're inside the trees. They're they're there. So you have to get into melee to fight them, or they have to get out because they have total cover in there. So you can re-roll that at a negative five to see if you hit. And you do. And you do eight damage. All right, Burke Perkins. Let us do this. Um, attack with the spirit advantage. That is a miss. Um. Okay, uh, then Flurry of Blows and two Talon Strikes coming up. That is a miss. I rolled exactly the same thing again, a seven. Oh, yeah, a seven and a one and then seven and seven. Okay, and one last time. But this time I mean it. Yeah, you hit that time. 
And you do six damage. And this time I will fly at 20 feet. Okay. Last turn. So, Scrappy, you have a extra inspiration. Yeah, I'll swing at the guy that I was swinging at before with my advantage inspiration. Okay. And you crit. Crit, boys. Wow, nice. Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Hold on. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll damage. Yeah, I got. It doesn't matter then. It doesn't matter because your your effect was triple damage, so you fucking wiped his ass off the face of the earth. Oh man, hold on, hold on. That would have been what forty two, forty eight plus well, forty six. Well, it, it, it's uh no, you'd have to, you'd re roll it, and then. You would only roll the damage, but not the modifier. Oh, I see. But it, regardless, you would have fucking kicked his ass. All right. Yeah. All right. That's a gonna, lot of damage. I'm gonna action surge and swing at this guy. Okay. Oh no, Burke, Burke, and something there, so it's not at advantage. Yeah, not at advantage. Do you have inspiration? You can use this turn, right? You I use used it to attack but- the first guy. That sound effect was loud. That you can you can turn those sounds down if you want on in Discord. Um, Scrappy has hit and has done fucking twelve damage. Damn. And that'll be my turn, sir. All right, Malavik. You have an inspiration that you must use this turn. All right, I will move there. That's the most movement I have. So it's going to be ranged, so negative five still. Negative five. But I have advantage for inspiration. Right, so you can mark advantage and negative five. Roger, thank you. And Eldritch Blast on. Whoops, i got to target him. Now the other one died. That is a hit. And he goes splatty, splatty, bye bye. Nighty night, orc. So Malavik and Tok. Or, yeah. Just, just one. How do you get a nineteen with a negative five? I don't. I've never understood how that works. Um, because his modifier is probably plus five. It is. Oh, I see what that is. Okay, so it just offsets the modifier. Yeah, it just offsets it. Yeah, excellent. Correct. Um. Tokalon and Malavik, please remove your second inspiration. We're no longer inspired. And with no that longer. Death, and with that death of the orc, that uh, procs my um, Dark One's Blessing, which gives me temporary hit points. Not going to matter because you're going to take a long rest right now. Oh, that's true. Okay, correct. All right. And Keldon is halfway to level. <laughs> He's halfway to leveling. And no one else leveled out. Okay, uh, Keldon, please change your next level XP to 300. And we are done with this map for now. You guys have long rested. And you are proceeding to the mountain. What? It's go time. So you I guys, my bolt. Uh, oh yeah, you, you can, how many did you shoot? Just one? One. So roll a d6. Uh, yeah, you get it back. Thank you. And I want to kind of get mine back that I dropped. Oh yeah, you if you drop it on the ground, you can recover that. That's not a problem. All right. So you guys get to the mountain, and last time the party was here, there was a cave. They had to climb the mountain, and there was a cave to go in. And this time when you guys arrive, you look up in the sky, and you see a dragon, and it is coming at you. Can I hold the birds out while it's coming down? Can you hold the birds out? 
Yeah, flip on the bird with both hands. Oh, yeah, 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 you can do it. Uh, are you sure you want to have no weapons in your hands? Is that what you're saying well, to me? <laughs> I can hold my sword while giving the bird. Oh, okay, it's like I see. The you have to have, have your pinky on. extended. Is that what's happening? That's exactly what's happening. Make sure everyone puts their armor back on. Yeah, so everyone, please put your armor back on if you had it off. Did we get any uh, ins information on this uh, dragon at all, guys? I can't recall. No. And could I take a look at the dragon and perhaps just see what I generally see about it? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you a picture of the dragon. Excellent. Looks like then damn you can make your morale check. Yeah, I think our I think our new guy is gonna shit his pants and run. Yeah, hide behind like level, something. Le level four will shit their pants and run. You know, dragon. You can have behind me, huh? I've been saying this the whole time. I can't die by dragons. Okay, so I'm gonna share the map with you guys. Um, each of those lines, uh, it's starting to go up the mountain, right? So you guys are. You guys are here uh, on the bottom, and you guys can place yourself anywhere in the white area that is not past. You see how it goes up hilly? It goes to the right, and it goes up, and it goes up. and it's, So each of those lines where it's dark and shaded represents a, a we'll say, a 10-foot climb. So it's difficult terrain to climb it uh, if you want to. Uh, if you want to go up the hill if you need to during combat. So let me give you the dragon here. Now you see this dragon. And I will show you a picture of it. Ooh, Ooh pretty dragon. And this dragon... is probably, you know, he's 30 feet. The ground where he's above is 30 feet up, and he's probably 50 feet off the ground. So he's like 80 feet in the air from where you guys are, plus the distance. Uh, and you can all sense that whether he knew you were coming or what the hell the deal is, he's coming at you. So roll initiative. Yes, that's a great one. Burke can be first to run away. Okay, Burke is in fact first. Oh, young. That's not so bad. No, where is he? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's just way, way over there. So it's the distance plus 50 feet. Well, it's or it's 80. the distance plus 80 feet, really. Okay, yeah, sorry. Just making sure. I mean, he's 60 feet above me and 100 feet away. No, he's, he's 80 feet above you and 100 feet away. Well, I'm 20 feet off the ground. Oh, right, right, right. Fucking A. No more flying characters in my games, goddammit. <laughs> Uh, do I, I want? Do I want to dash to a dragon? Do we, uh, do, does does our wizard know anything about there. this kind of dragon? What wizard? I'm a warlock. I'm a wizard. I'm a native um, cleric, and I'd say that, if it, uh, if anybody uh, wants to, if anybody wants to check on the dragon, as always, you can spend your action doing a a nature check to find out about the monster. If that's what you want to Nature. do. Nature, okay. But it would you have to spend your action to get that information. I right, got like or, a week till it's my turn. I'll wait. <laughs> it's a week. All right. So what's Burke doing? Burke doesn't know what he wants to do. Because Burke definitely does not want to dash to a dragon while his uh, party is going to take like ten rounds to get there. He learned a little lesson from Bodos about that. There's no shame in passing your turn. Yeah, I think 
Burke is going to... He could always just ready in action. That way, if he comes into range, I don't know what your range is. But... Yeah, I'm going to ready a dash action. If he gets too close, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move to here. Um, there. And then have a dash action readied if he gets too close. And what is too close? If he gets within 30 feet of me, then I'm going to dash. Okay. And then pass turn. Scrappy. Oh, you know what's happening, boys. You're running up the hill. <laughs> yeah. Is this shit right in front of me difficult terrain, too? It's only difficult terrain to cross the line. So. So I could make it to there without dashing. That's you're, 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 you're not moving your own token. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. I could make it there. So there's 30. That's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, that's. Yeah, because it's up 10. Well, it's up 10 and difficult terrain. So really, it's. To cross the line costs 20 feet of movement. So that, that that would be 35 to get there. 55 to there. With okay. Dash action. And that'll be my turn, sir. All right. Malovic. Move there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just stay right there and I'll ready an Eldritch Blast. What's your trigger? Um, that's debatable yet. I don't want to take the first aggressive action unless he attacks me. So if myself... If he makes a hostile action toward me or one of my group mates, and he's in range, which it's 120 range, so right now he is, you say 80 up. Yeah. He's still 100. He's still 165 away right now. So just if he makes a hostile action and attacks me or a, a group mate, and he's in range. Okay. Anything else, Keldon? I'm going to dash over to here. And then <laughs> okay. I got 11, level, man. This level one, go, on go to fucking... Like fucking <laughs> in the rear with the gear. Like a fight in, the, in a hurricane. Loyal. Do any of the trees offer cover? Are they tall enough to provide cover? Um, or are they just not... The, no, I, I would say that the trees that are... The, the trees and the rocks that are bigger than one square do. Okay. I'm counting so like, my movement here. Yeah, so like... This this rock right here, maybe not, but the other rocks that are in there do. And like this rock... Right there, maybe not, but the other ones that are bigger than one square do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and run for that bigger one in front of me, and that should be 55 movement if I've calculated it correctly. Yeah. That would be a dash action, and I will turn. All right. Tokalon, who has very confidently already targeted the dragon, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to run. <laughs> Which way? I can dash to about there, right? Or can I get up to the next tier? I think. I can uh, let's get see. To the 5, 25, 30, 35, 40. You could get up. Yeah, you could go 60 to there. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. You guys all went before this suck ass initiative dragon. Let's find out what And I'm doing. hiding behind the tree so he can't see me. <laughs> he's fucking 80 feet in the air. He can see you. Those trees are all maybe 20 feet tall, if that. 
Uh, let's see. You guys have all sufficiently spread out. Nice. He is going to fly... 400 feet. He bypasses everybody and goes for the low-level character hiding way at the back of the map. No, he attacks that black square, whatever it is. He flies... Uh, he flies to there, swooping down as he does. He's still probably maybe 10 feet above the ground, or above you guys, I mean. And... so Sorry, 10 feet above... 10 feet above... 10 feet above, um, Tokalon. Okay, so he's 20 so he's feet above. 20 feet, feet. yeah. So... But he breathes down in a cone that is big enough to get the three of you. If this is a deck save, I'm going to use a uh, inspiration card to gain advantage. That makes two of us. Okay. Um, this is a... It's dex or intelligence save. I'll, I'll be able to use it. I better double check this. It says it's strength. That's kind of odd. Each creature that comes... Ruh -ruh. Again, bludgeoning is full. It is strength. So here we go. It won't be used then. I'm gonna have problems. Uh, loyal, loyal did uh succeed, so he'll take half. Rob, what size is this dragon? Is it large? Yep. This dragon is large. So he did damage to all of you and knocked um, Tokalon and Scrappy prone. All right, and then him attacking, does that trigger my Elder's Blast? Uh, let's just see. Readied Eldritch if hostile. Yes, it does. And you crit. Nice. No uh, effect. Or... There is an effect. A, uh, lightning frost shoots out of the dragon, but it does not hit anything. It goes into rocks and trees because it's supposed to hit his allies. So nothing really happens. All right. But you can roll damage. All right, 16 damage. Uh, he then... Let's see, how much is his movement? Okay, so he went 60... Yeah, he... He, he'll, he, he kind of... Stay, he just stays where he is. So he's maybe 10 feet above Scrappy at this point. Or, no, no, he's 20 feet above Scrappy. He's 10 feet above Tokalon. As far as the up axis. And then it is the next round. And Keldon, it is your it is your turn. What's happening? You got, I you crawl I start me. digging a hole and he starts <laughs> He starts digging a hole start right there. <laughs> start lobbying Chad for help. Well, I don't know what the I could throw a um I could shoot a crossbow bolt if I could get within range or, you know, in line sight. So maybe move here. How's that sound, Rob? And then... Um, 8320. Uh, yeah, so you can move there. Uh, you will have a clear shot. And you're 60 feet away plus... 20 well, yeah well i'm gonna i'm gonna start i'm not gonna start i'm not gonna fucking do this shit where it's the fucking 
Pythagorean the theorem. Pi. I'm just going to yeah, do it the pi. way it suggests in the book, which is the distance plus the distance, which happens in this case to be 80. So you can go ahead and shoot with no disadvantage. <laughs> and you miss. And he looks I'll at you. Hmm. I'll move back there. I'll move back there. <laughs> <laughs> Who dares to shoot at me? All right, Tokalon. <laughs> that thing didn't even get within his eyes. <laughs> All right, Tokalon stands up. Okay, so Tokalon stands up. Big dramatic move here. Right? Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to zap him, I think. Um, I okay. Think I'm going to jump right to Magic Missile with love from level two. Okay. All right, so he takes all that damage in his face. Every all time right, somebody does magic missile, I always assume it's to the face. Why not? Right? And then I'm going to move. Okay. And then I'm going to, as a bonus action, hold on. That's as far as you can get. Yeah, I, I was actually going to do Misty Step as a bonus action and try and get oh. him. Oh, okay, so you, you can move to there and then Misty Step if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So how do I... So your Misty Step is 30, or up to 30, that is. If I move to there, kind of the opposite corner, is that flanking? No, so because he's in the air. He's like 10 feet above. So he's unflankable? He's unflankable. Then I'm going to move uphill for my... You okay. You step on top of him. I'm going to move over there. Okay, move you can do that. Right <laughs> so you're at this point, you're on the same level as the dragon. You're on, You're at the same elevation as the dragon where you are now. Okay. And I'm done. All right. Uh, Malavik. Um, that breath weapon, was I able to see what type of weapon that might have been? Uh, or what type of breath? Yeah, you would have been able to, to notice it. Um, it was... Uh, wind. Very powerful wind. All right. I'm just going to cast at him. Stay where I'm at. Okay. That is a miss. Mm. All right. This dragon... Does not recharge his breath. Boo. Fucking boo, boo, boo. So instead... Yay, yay, yay. Uh, Flies down to uh, melee range with Scrappy, which would be five feet off the ground where Scrappy is. And... Is going to try to... Oh, Sorry. No, no, yeah, yeah, five feet off the ground. Uh, he's going to try to bite Scrappy. And he does. And then he's going to claw Scrappy. And he's going to do that twice. So Scrappy takes a shit ton of damage and goes unconscious. And when that happens, yes, this dragon flies straight up 30 feet. Scrappy makes a death save and fails. How is that even possible with this guy? How is a dragon going to kill Scrappy? <laughs> no, no. How is it possible I failed a death save? I have to roll a... Well, you still have seven. like a 40% chance that it doesn't work. You rolled a... Uh, 
you rolled a four plus two and got a six. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I mean, eight, what, seven or Yeah, because he, he's got a plus two on his death saves, but when you roll a four, <laughs> fuck. All right, Burke yeah, Perkins. Uh, Burke is going to do something a little stupid. <laughs> Scrappy approves. Yes, I do. Burke Scrappy is going to fly... Right Scrappy behind the dragon. Okay, Scrappy has received a potion of healing from Justinian Nine in the chat. Justinian Way coming go, through chat. again. Thank you, sir. We love chat. Scrappy so, has received a potion of healing from GM Baboonski in the chat. That's Chuck. Uh, thanks, Chuck. Thanks, gentlemen. Okay, Burke Perkins, go ahead. Can can't Burke Perkins commit? Suicide without being interrupted. By like, chat, you know, healing chat. people. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? <laughs> All right. Um, Burke is going to attempt to grapple this dragon. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's a dragon wow. strength? Let's hear it. Uh, a lot. Going to use, Burke is going to use inspiration for advantage. Oh, okay. <laughs> And so I just make a normal melee attack. No, you make a strength a strength check. Oh, a strength check, yes. Against his save. So you're looking to beat a seventeen. No problem. In the chat or out. In you can do it in the open if you want. <laughs> Negative one strength modifier. Let's do this. Is this oh. guidance on your next ability check thing still active? Ooh, guidance. Uh, you may roll um, your guidance. If you get a four, you will grapple him. Oh! oh! <laughs> He's got the dragon by the tail. You have grappled the dragon. Now what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, now what? The, now the dragon's movement goes to zero, so I believe it's Balls, right? Uh, it's if gonna I take. It? It's gonna take you with it. Yeah. Well, I can. I can write it down, or I can just drop them. Like, like what? What will let me? Because I'm. My movement is not zero. Right. Right. I'm gonna get this dragon to hit the ground as I like, with it. I think you have to like grapple them all the way to the ground and and have the potential for damage there. Hmm. Otherwise, he's just going to flap his wings again. All right, All right but if he flaps his wings and he's already just about to hit the ground because he is grappled, maybe he can't get out and he still takes damage. Just ride it right to the ground. Come yeah. on. Smash him. Well, so here's uh, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you ride him to the ground. And then if you want to try to, like, at the last second, put your fly on to, to you know, to, to go to reverse force on gravity and so that you don't take damage we'll just make an athletics check for that okay so we're up 30 feet above the ground right 35 feet 35 feet um the other thing is like by keeping the dragon grappled that means it can't fly so melee attacks will work on this guy but he's probably going to break out of my grapple anyway so yeah let's write him down and i'll jump off at the last minute I'm gonna I'm gonna not just not just write him down, I'm going to dive bomb myself down, so I'm gonna add energy to that, if that's cool. Okay, so you're gonna try to drive him down. Pile driver, yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you uh I'm gonna give you a chance to roll for me a acrobatics check to see if you can avoid hitting the ground while you're pile driving this guy. Um, by the way, I do have slow fall. Okay, if you cast that Well, it's just a you reaction. Can, but you, that's if I'm falling. But yeah, I can't fall. Um, but no, I will I will just ride into the ground and then what was the check you needed me to do? Uh, acrobatics. So 
sorry, grabbed the wrong thing. Hold on. Okay, your acrobatics is enough that you don't uh, that you don't screw up and hit the ground yourself. But just a second before you hit the ground, he uses his reaction for that, and nothing Aww. happens. <laughs> Ooh, cheater! So <laughs> you, just, you gotta just stay on him, man. You gotta get him. Uh. But you, uh, you still have him grappled, but you guys are standing, at this point we'll say that you're both basically landed on the ground. You tried to drive him into the ground and he prevented that, and so I think the best way that comes out is you guys are both just standing there on the ground, but you still have him grappled. Okay, then I will um, bonus action patient defense, so I should have the dodge. You should have what? Patient defense to do the dodge action. Okay. Bonus action. Okay, sounds good. And I'm not up 20 feet anymore. Uh, no. So basically... Uh, Just to make it easier to visually, I'm going to slide him over there because both you and he are, uh, you and Scrappy are now at ground level with the dragon, and you have him grappled. Excellent. All Past right. Turn. Pass turn. Loyal. What do you do? I'm going to uh, run up to him. Okay. Relay range. Yeah, you kind of skitter over that rock right there. No problem. So if you have melee yeah, attack, will, you will have advantage. I will run up towards him and uh, try and touch him with an inflict wounds at level two. Okay. You miss. And you burn a level two slow spell slot. Round three, everybody. Killed on. Uh, I will peek around the corner. <laughs> I love it. You're just going to shoot him from a distance. Tink, and then duck behind the rocks again. All right, you can fire away. You fumble, and there's no effect. Lucky you. All right, Scrappy is prone. I want to move back. I want to move back. I'm sorry. All right. I want to stand up and then jump on this bastard as well. You want to jump on him? Yeah. Well, Burke's already grappling him. I want in on this. I want to pile on with him. Get this damn bastard. So you want to, down. You want to get on top of him? Is that what you mean? Yeah, and grapple. Ride the dragon. I'll fucking ride the dragon if I have to. Yeah. Well, so you 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 say you want to get on him. Does that mean you want to grapple him, or does that mean you want to climb him? Which one is it? Well, in in originally it was just grapple him, but now that you say that, I definitely want to climb him. Okay, roll for me, please, an athletics check. Sorry, sorry, acrobatics. All right, and um, I'd like to use my inspiration to do that advantage. Okay, you can do that. Holy mother of fuck. Uh, you climb on him in such a manner that you are basically riding him on his neck as if you were, as if he was a mount. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, bonus action, action surge. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to try and stab this motherfucker. Uh, you, you are targeting yourself. But when you roll your attack, you may do so at advantage. The action surge sound was fun. Yeah, yeah I love that one. <laughs> uh, you did hit. 
Very nice. And he is none too happy. I wouldn't be either if someone was riding me. <laughs> took took a lot. All right, I mean, I'm going to use would. my last second spell slot and magic missile again. Okay, go for it. So he definitely takes all that damage. <laughs> Eraser has attempted to redeem in the chat TPK. There is no such thing as TPK. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably do that on our own. Okay, so... Oh, lordy. It's a dragon's turn. I don't think this dragon... Riding the dragon is not recommended. Riding the dragon is not recommended. By the way, look at that good damage with my magic missile. Holy smokes. All those fours. Right? Okay, so this dragon is going to attempt to bite uh, Burt Perkins. What the fuck just happened? You attacked the dragon, too. I guess so. Uh, it, it was all misses. Is right? Isn't it a disadvantage? I don't know. Uh, so he's going to try to claw twice, and he hits once, and does a mere nine damage to Burt Perkins, and that is the end of his turn. You guys are kind of kicking this guy's ass. All right, Malavik. His breath back? All right, so I come up the hill. He did not get his breath back. Knock the wind out of him. I move up the <laughs> hill, up to the crest of that next contour, and I was preparing to cast a spell that now that I see my group mate sitting on the dragon, I have to rethink this. Um, <laughs> because that would have hit him as well, since he's on the dragon. So Honestly, it's just... I don't think you'll mind. See, well, he's I see low health there. He's bleeding a little bit, so I'm just going to Eldritch Blast at this point. Okay. You missed. No! <laughs> Dang it. And I don't have anything else to do on this guy, so that's Oh, it. Burke, Burke, Burke was at... Uh, he was dodging. That's why I was at disadvantage for Burke Perkins. Yeah. All right. Whoops. So you are Careful, at Burke I Perkins. I may have hit advance twice. You, it, you can't. It doesn't do anything if you do. You can hit it all you want when it's not your turn. It doesn't do anything. Got it. Okay, cool. All right, do I have advantage? I better have advantage. Uh, You do because of loyal, yeah. All right, so Burke is going to attack this thing with a spear. Okay. I guess not two-handed, right? Uh. Grappling with something. Yeah, you can't use two hands because you're grappling. All right, so um, let's just do this then. I'm going to Fangs of the Fire Snake. Okay. And I'm just going to do unarmed strikes with my fire. All right. Hey, Razor Critical Dang. That is a miss. All right. And we're going to do Flurry of Blows. So another two fangs of the Fire Snake coming in. First one's a hit. Uh, apply extra fire damage. He takes all that. And then a uh, second attack. And he gets hit again. And then, uh, no. And he takes all that. And that is Burke's turn. Oh, Burke says, we're gonna unwind this young wind dragon. What? There's a pun that's <laughs> horrible for everyone. Uh, <laughs> Loyal. If you are meleeing, you will have advantage. 
Shouldn't Dodge have come off yeah, Burke so by now? It should have, yes. Okay. Wondering why my uh, why my touch doesn't work so well, and trying it again. I'm going to try the uh, inflict wounds at level two. Okay. No, no bad touch joke from Rob on that one. No, I'm just hoping he burns another spell slot. I'm just very excited by this. Ah, crappy hit. Yeah, forty ten. Holy shit! Ow. He takes all 27 damage. All right. And that'll do it for me. Okay, next round. Burke Perkins. All right. Burke is going to keep on hitting. There we go. Wow. Oh, nice. snap. Nice roll. That is a hit because it's a crit. Uh, you have the evader effect. You have evasion until the end of the encounter. Nice. What does that do? Um, it, it's it's <laughs> probably dex, dex it's check. yeah, it's probably not going to matter if you do if you have to do a deck save. Uh, you on on dam if you fail, you only take half damage. If you succeed, you take no damage. That is a 7th level rogue ability, which is fucking amazing. Oh, hell yeah. Can nimbly dodge out of the way of certain area effects. Dex throw to take half damage. Take no damage on a save and half on a fail. Nice. Yeah. All right, and I still have to do damage. All right, so he takes all five of your damage. <laughs> Shit. And then... Uh... Bonus attack, unarmed strike with my talons. Ooh, drop that fail. And that will be turned. Oh, snap. Uh oh. Okay. The dragon is going to attempt to break the grapple. Please roll a, a strength. Grapple? Your grapple. What do you mean, which grapple? He's not grappled by anybody else. He's just grappled by you. I thought by um, Burke Parker. I thought Scrappy grappled him. Scrappy's not oh, grappling him. He's just him. he's just riding him. Oh. Okay. Cool. What okay. Uh. Uh, you need to make a um, strength saving throw, I believe. Saving throw? Well, yeah, because he's trying... You need to save versus his escape. Okay, cool. And I am going to use a card. Which is... Uh, I believe it's clarity. Reroll the d20 you just made, adding your proficiency as an additional bonus to the result. Okay, you may do that. As a result of the roll. So my proficiency is two. And so roll that save again. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the dragon breaks the grapple. Burke and Loyal will get op shots at advantage as that dragon lifts off the ground 60 feet. Excellent. Uh, Burke hit. Loyal missed. Burke does 7 damage. The critical. I need an acrobatics check from Scrappy as the dragon inverts to try to drop you off his back 60 feet in the air. Uh, you do not hang on. 
You will now hold take. On, hold on. He's landing uh, in the snow. It's, would that be considered a dexterity save or no? I was thinking that wouldn't it be strength? Because aren't you trying to hold on to his? Neck? No, it's acrobatics because he's he's flipping over, and you got to try to acrobatically hang on. That's that's the call I'm making. All right. It's a dex. Acrobatics it's a dex save. Dex, right? Yeah. Well, I get advantage on dex saves if I'm allowed to use my card. Uh. Okay, you can roll that again. It says moment of reflexes. You gain advantage on your next dexterity or intelligence save. So I guess that's depending on how you want to rule that. Yeah, you can. I mean, if you say you're going to play a card, you, you probably should do it in advance. But I'll let you re-roll that to burn the card if you want to do it. I will do so. And you got an even lower roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for cheating. So, uh, 66 falling damage. Into the snow, though. Snow is hard, baby. Snowpack. Dragon softened it up when he was grappled. I think that snow turned yellow while he was there. So Scrappy is unconscious on the ground below the dragon. That dragon is 60 feet up, but he will now fly... Like to use my inspiration card um, to the rescue, so I, I, if I'm able. And what does that do? Drops to zero. When an ally drops to zero, move your move speed towards them as a free action. If you end this move adjacent to them, they may spend a hit die. Uh, you can certainly do that. Ooh. That'll work. Where, yeah, perfect. All right, you know I'll be there then. And then I'm assuming Scrappy should be able to... Loyal, it. why are you moving? Because that was me talking. Oh, nice. oh, sorry. I, I thought, yeah, that's a good... That's, yeah. Uh, Joe and... <laughs> and Joe, your right. voice, yep. voices are very similar. It doesn't help that your names are the same. It's fucking crazy. Uh, right, so you guys, card even Scrappy, though I've been playing with you guys for 15 you got years, you guys should never say "ah." You should, all of you, should always say yep. "Malavik." You know, loyal. Well, don't don't say "I" because it fucking confuses me. All right, so you go there, and the dragon was here, and you do that, and he spends a hit die. Very good. So that just means he's prone. Fuck it, eh? So, thank you, sir. Uh, let me mark you prone. So the dragon used his action to break the grapple, and he flew 60 feet up. And then he is not grappled. And then, so he, he spins around, you know, so he turns ba ba basically back over. Maybe he'll just go, like, right there. But he's 60 feet above the... And, Burke, you're in the air, right? No, no, you're on the ground. Um, I'm on the ground, yes. Where on the ground? You you really can't, you shouldn't... I, I mean, I moved your token, because I, I might have screwed up there, but you, you shouldn't be on the ridge, or, or were you, in fact, on the ridge? I guess you were, yeah, that's fine. Okay. No, was, I would be. I would be on the lower one to half the left. of the ridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's was fine. One to the left. Yeah. Well, no, he he wasn't one to the left because. Oh yeah, yeah, you were. You were right there, weren't you? Yeah, because Scrappy originally was down. Right. A he, Scrappy was. The dragon was between them. Yeah, Scra Scrappy was like in that square, right? Okay, that's right. Okay, good enough. Okay, so, uh, Keldon. You might have so in the air. sixty plus seventy is one thirty. Yeah, so you're gonna have disadvantage if you shoot at him from there. 
And that is a miss. All right. Scrappy, you are prone. I'm going to stand up. Okay. And then I'm going to move. Okay. To there. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> and uh, just let me look at something here. I'm going to bonus action second wind. Okay. Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. And you get eight back. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be my turn, sir. Actually, I can still move more because I didn't use my action, right? Right. Yeah, I'll move to there. Okay. <laughs> Fuck and this guy. <laughs> Tokalon. All right, level one magic missileing. Okay. And he takes all that. All right, loyal. Well, he's gonna move up a little bit here, and he's gonna burn his last level two spell slot on guiding bolt. Oh snap! Okay. And I'm gonna burn my inspiration for advantage. Okay. Let's put this bad boy down. Nope. Oh, and that's a miss. When your best roll was a two. Uh, can can another player burn their inspiration to get on a re-roll? Not a re-roll, but you can you can give your inspiration to another person, but you can't do it for re-roll. You have to call it in advance. Okay. Just uh, right. Malovic. He is sixty feet in the air, correct? He is sixty feet, uh, which is seventy feet above you. So he's ninety feet away from you. If you have something that's a range ninety, you're okay. If it's yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna back up a little bit. It's one twenty range. Oh yeah, so you're fine. And that's a hit. Nice. And he takes twelve damage. That is it for me this turn. Oh my god. Round next, Scrappy. How high in there is he, do you say? He is 60. He's 60 above you. So he's 100 feet away from you right now. Alright, that's no good for me. Um, I'm going to move forward. Okay. No, Burke Perkins is right there. I don't want to group up. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it. Fuck it. Yep. I'm going to move forward and take the dodge action. Okay. And that was my turn, sir. All right. Tokalon. Well, still got a magic missile slot open. Going to use it. All right. He takes all that damage. Holy Please shit. And I'm going to move and uh, will these rocks provide cover if I move behind them? Yes. There, I'm still, I can still see him, but I get, if I. Well, you're not really behind rocks if you're there. You need to go behind them. Here, yeah, do there I you get go. any concealment or do I, I get yeah, this advantage because you... he's still up a bit? Yeah, you you would have you would have cover there. Uh, I, I I really doubt whether he's concerned with you right now. Anyway, you're too far away. But yeah, you can you can uh, you can do what I call killed in it back there if you'd like to do that. Whatever. <laughs> I got eleven. <laughs> you got, yeah, and you still have eleven too. You're smart. All right, Burke Perkins. Been dead like five rounds ago. How high in the air is this young wind? Wine Sixty ground? feet above still the ground. Feet. All right, Burke is going to fly up, just straight up 50 feet. 
Okay. And throw a dart at this thing. All right. Do one hit point of damage and kill it. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, what do I have? Do I have anything? <laughs> this dragon has one hit point left, point. you guys. <laughs> it has one hit point. Uh, That's a mess. Bonus action, sulk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Free action. Keldon. Uh, I, st I, I still have Eraser Texas critical hit banked in for the you know, dragon. Range, so I'll just take an attack. Okay, so you'd be at disadvantage with the crossbow. And that's a miss. I'll move to there. Okay, loyal. We get a little bit better at angle here. Try guiding bolt, but okay. at a lesser level because I'm out. And that suck. Is a miss. All right. This dragon That's what we we're all worried about. Is not going to be able to get Tok or I mean uh Malavik. But he's going to come down to here and get the three of you. Even with Burke in 50 feet in the air? Oh, no. True enough. I forgot about that. No more flying characters in my goddamn game. Because <laughs> no I always, monsters. I can never can fucking remember. Just to kill them so you can be done with it. Flying is so fucking OP. Uh, this dragon, by the way, has one hit point left. You guys just have missed it like the last four times. He's going to fuck with you until he, his last breath. Uh, I, mean, I guess Burke so. It's not going to work. It's not going to matter if he gets hit. I guess it's only going to be. Uh, let me do that again. No, I, I definitely couldn't. Yeah, I definitely couldn't reach him. So I'm just going to do. Uh... Okay. So let me fucking get my bearings here. Okay, so Loyal and Scrappy will be being breathed on. Uh, they both save. So they'll take half of... Jesus Christ, that's it. Isn't Scrappy dodging, though? Yeah, but that, helps that doesn't help on saves. Uh... Wait a minute. I want to check that because I didn't take any damage. Yeah, no, no damage was given. So let me check the fucking thing here. Yeah, it, it should. It's just coded wrong, I guess. But you guys should have each taken three. Big deal. And I think I should have taken thirteen. I, I saved last time, so I sure. Yeah, it didn't out. give you the thirteen, right? Well, I saved in the last one. They all took 13. I don't know if they saved or failed on the last one. But I'm either at 16 or I'm at 9. You, you choose. I failed on the last one. Okay, so... Could you not have just moved over one and hit right there? Not that I want you to hit me, right but... No, because if you move it, you're not in the shade. Yeah, it, I, I looked ah, at it again. Yeah. okay. So, uh, the dragon was, uh, not, he, he was, uh, he was above, he breathed down. So he's not, he's not next to loyal so that he's going to go back up in the air and try to live another day, but I doubt it. So he's just going to fly up like, you know, let's see, he was up 60, he flew down 50. So he's going to go 40 back up in the air and then that's it. So, Malavik, you are up. All right. Um, 
I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast him. I'm trying to decide. Don't want to use my inspiration for this. To give myself advantage. I think I will. Do you want to slay a dragon or not? <laughs> yes, I do. All you gotta do is hit him, and it's over. Yep. That's why I said I'm gonna use my inspiration for advantage. Better you okay. can come to the bar with me. There's plenty of dragons to slay there. You not only hit him, you crit, but there was no effect, so that is the end of the encounter, everybody. Bye bye, Dragon. Oh, yeah. You want a dragon pelt? Oh, look yeah, at that. I'll try. <laughs> I will Double definitely try and harvest whatever I can here. <laughs> Double As ones, that's funny. To the ground below me. Okay, so. Uh, you guys are going to get XP for this. Any good loot or dragon pelts? As uh, I was going to say, um, over and grab me a scale you, or two. Everybody roll a survival check, please. Really? Okay, Keldon of all people is uh, who is who is up to the north has discovered a cave entrance that's just off the top of the map to the north. You can't see it on the map, but it's just off and and uh, you believe that might be the dragon's lair. Oh, look at here. Look what I found. Smoke yeah. Loot, right? <laughs> I'm not going to go anywhere near that dragon. So there is some benefit from running away from the dragon to hide. And you yeah, guys go peek in the um, peek in the cave, and you do in fact discover that it is the dragon's lair, and there is treasure in there. Yay, we love treasure. I was hoping you say roll initiative. <laughs> You find 600 platinum pieces. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Which is 540 for the party and 60 for the guild. Uh, that equates to 5,400 gold, and you guys have a debt of 5,000 as it happens. Yep. Yep. Hey, Burke didn't yep. sign no contract. Yeah, I don't. I don't owe anything. <laughs> yeah, well, the party does. We, we do. They will come hunt you, if, if the people come hunt you down and you're with them. You're fucking guilty as them. So you also find. Well, also, you uh, go ahead. I was gonna say, Tokalon also put up most of the cash to get us in debt. So remember, we were all pretty much broke, and I think I put in like 120 of the 150 gold. Yep, the 150. I need to pay you back my, my share. Just saying. The most important thing is to get out from our debt load. But I'm curious as to what's the other we also saw. Um... The, what do you mean, the other... You started to the say you also find, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's also um, six rings of water walking and six caps of water breathing. Nice! <laughs> yes. So you guys can all go into the party sheet and take one of each. Nice. They're not identified yet, Rob. Oh, sorry. Yeah, put that back and I'll identify them. And then you guys can take them out. Oh. Sorry, I put my ring back. There we go, yeah. Sweetness. Back to gold, gold and then go fight some more uh, sharks. So it looks like two people have not taken their caps and rings. I tried to. 
just now. So you have to drag the shield from the party sheet onto your inventory tab, or you didn't do it. Um, one person missing a cap. Yeah. Not me. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you guys got Sorry. your treasure. You got the sound effect for the water. It's all very awesome. All right. So Let's you guys to town without getting ambushed. <laughs> are um, probably exhausted. And so I'm going to give you a long rest before you head back. So you guys stay the night. Oh, fuck. I need to move this calendar like three days. 90, just to double check. Ah, is the dragon got healthy in the long rest. I didn't hear that. Oh, no. 90 platinum is 900 gold, right? Correct. The dragon rested too. <laughs> the I dragon is dead. I debt to Tokalon. Okay, so Tokalon can add... I'll take 50 gold off mine and pay it. Yeah. Add 50 gold. Thank you you said 90 is what? How much? Times 10. So 90 is, yeah, 90 is 900. Damn, son. Um, Dusty, you can level Keldon to second level and change your XP to 900 for the next one. Now, why am I not seeing that ring in the cap in my inventory? Uh... I don't know. 90 platinum pieces. I feel so rich. <laughs> well, we owe each 833 to the boat guy. Yeah. yeah so it's Rot, uh, quarter staff pieces. leather, crossbow. I have no idea why those don't appear there. That's the fucking oddest thing ever. Because you did drag them in, yeah, that's right? Why I was hes yeah, and that's why I was hesitating to drag the cap in because the ring wasn't showing up. But I closed the actually, sheet thinking maybe it was just... Actually, the, if you look in the chat, it shows everybody's name and what they what they drug in, and yours are blank. So God knows what you did. All I did was grab the shield and drag them straight over to me. Well, to you must have done it. I, I don't know. I fucking don't know, but I'll, I'll put another one in. I'll just put it on your sheet for you. Because you see where it says it's you see where it says colon nothing, right? So something went wrong. Yeah, that's weird. You put it on your inventory, not just your sheet, right? Correct. I drug it straight to the inventory. Yep. Yeah. Normally, when you do that, you want to look wrong. right away and verify that it's there, because that sometimes it goes wrong or fucking I don't know. Yeah, I verify. Yeah. I think it's a sorcerer thing. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, so they're there. Yep, they're there. I see them now. Thank you. Okay, so you guys have long rested. I think all the effects are... I got all the evasion and the dodge and wherever the hell else is off. So you guys can head back. I'm assuming you're going to head back to the water? You need to head uh, back to the dock and pay him off. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, uh, killed on D20. In the chat. Okay, Malavik. Okay, uh, Scrappy. Okay, uh, now I need D20s from... Standby. 
the following people. Loyal, Burke, Tokalon, and Scrappy. All right, you guys make it through a long rest, uneventful. So the journey continues. Uh, Tokalon, D20. Uh, Loyal, D20. All right, Burke, D20. All right, you guys make it back to Port Wynum. Nice. And you'll be I'm able to... 833.3. All right, everybody can take off 834 gold from your sheets. Ooh, take and 26 gold still, guys. get the bounty off your heads. That's 83 platinum and four gold. Well, if you're going to, yeah, you guys can just do 834 gold and or 83 platinum and four gold. Yeah. And then, uh, those of you that have, uh, what am I trying to say? Those of you, oh yeah, probably most of you wouldn't. I was going to say anybody that has a hundred left over, they can join the guild. But that's that's probably that only leaves everybody with like, you know, whatever, a few twenty or thirty gold or whatever, seven platinum. I don't know. Yeah, we're all poor. Okay, so that's fine. Turks so now guys, so. you guys can. Uh, Well, we have to pay the guild with our treasure now, and we're not in the guild. Oh, yeah. Yes, you, you must pay the guild even if you're not in the guild. Because so it's, might it's as well, because if you have 100 gold, who's, you might who's, join, right? who's paying that is not the person, it's the treasure. It's the it's the agreement of the of the first group. If you are adventuring with that party, your agreement is that before any person gets their one cut, the guild takes their money off the top. Well, that's whether you're a member or not. That's Understood. just. So what I mean, I'm yeah, is, it's just. Since you're not yet a guild member, even if you're broke, you might as well join the guild if you have a hundred gold, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so Tokalon's going to join because I have eleven platinum, which is. Okay, so yeah, you can join, and I will. So I just give put a you star of my name, or how does that work? It's already done. Uh, and then I got to add to the guild 100. All right. Awesome. So you guys can do, this is a pretty big port. There's inns and, uh, there's even a magic shop here. There's a stores, there's, you know, markets and bazaars and whatever. So, if there's any activities anybody wants to do, like normal things you would do in a city, uh, we can talk about that. Um, if you guys, um, yeah, there is a magic shop, and they do have healing potions. How much are they? Do we remember? They're fifty. Fifty. I don't got enough money to buy one. <laughs> As a matter of fact. I will show you guys the magic shop that is located here. So they got plenty of potions of healing. They also have some other cool stuff that probably nobody has the money for. But as you guys uh, come into town and Maybe go and get a drink. You do hear a rumor. You guys already have the the sunken treasure to go back to. But you do hear a rumor about something. I'm going to tell you what it is. You ready? You hear that very nearby... 
there is a hidden tomb and for those of you that were paying attention this is the one that was talked about in the discord chat today and ooh, uh, ooh. it is very nearby uh, you hear that the tomb of Sir Galloway has been lost for centuries buried deep but legend has it that uh, there was a magical weapon buried with him in this tomb. And a local drunk that you guys overhear while you're gathering up all your stuff and getting some drinks and having some meals claims to have found uh, a way to the tomb. And he offers... He's he's just bragging and he's just openly like kind of almost yelling in the bar where you guys are. Uh, anybody that wants to give me 10 gold pieces, I'll give you the map. And so a couple people shuffle toward him and say, let's see this map. And he's like, let's see the money. So do any of you guys respond? Yeah. I'll break everyone else's fingers and hand the 10 <laughs> This is my map. All right. Uh, the police might come if you break people's fingers. But he said, first, first one with the money, you know, you, you pull out your gold. He sees it. And... He says, first one to show me the money gets it. So he gives you the map and takes your 10 gold. And uh, you see that this map leads to a location very nearby the port on the map. As a matter of fact. I'll show my teammates. I'll show you where it is. It's in that hex there. It's just a, a hex away. Fucking A, boys. It's right there. So you guys have that on your burner. Uh, what would you like to do? Oh yeah, so the and the the guy that you paid off, the boat guy, he uh he accepts your he accepts your uh your payment of his wow. boat and and asks you to please never solicit business for it from him again. <laughs> he didn't like it. We we don't like people who have boats that are attracted by krakens anyway. Right. Besides, we think so highly of ourselves, we can walk on the water now. Your boat's got crack? It's a crack. Yeah, our boat got destroyed by a crack. And... <laughs> okay, so... Um, what do you guys want to do? Do we have enough time to go to the... Tour? Well, we... No, we got... I mean, there's ten minutes left in the game. So, we can journey toward it. Can... Or journey toward the... You guys can walk on water to the boat if you want to do that. I wouldn't mind walking on water towards the boat. I got personal problems with these uh, sharks and undead. And I'm also going to level out of the party pretty soon. So. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to want to go toward the uh, toward the boat? Yep, there you go. There's a boat. A check mark is the ship, and an X is the tomb. And it looks like everybody wants to go to the boat. Okay. So you guys will walk with your rings of water walking just on top of the water all the way out to the boat. There's no... It takes you a long time to get there, like almost probably a day. But you do not experience any monsters on your way. You don't see any... You don't even see any fin shark, uh, shark fins in the water. There's no kraken. No nothing. And you guys, if you wanted to, you've already you've already been rested, but um, it probably took you 24 hours to walk out there. So I'll advance the calendar. Um, but since all you did was walk, you don't even really need to rest. You could just sit down on top of the water for a few minutes. I think if you can walk on water, you can probably sit on it. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> but what we will do is... Uh, the next session, we will start with the party uh, going to go down and look at the sunken ship again. Fucking A. Oh, thanks, Rob. Yeah, so Keldon and Tokalon can roll for um, initiative cards, cards, if you wish. Yeah. 
Initiative cards or inspiration cards? <laughs> no, inspiration cards. God damn. Any uh, fucking. I told you guys my thing about words that start with They're the same the library, letter. Aren't they? They're all in the same thing. Library. Yeah, you go in the library, open up the thing, and then there's a uh, go to tables, and it should say 5e inspiration. You just click on it and roll. Burke was hoping to roll for an inspiration card, but he grappled a fucking dragon. So I right. that's a good trade. He had to try to get a dragon to fucking go to the ground. Who had Featherfall? Yeah. See, I managed to climb the dragon without inspiration, and then failed to stay on it with inspiration. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, everybody's all, I'll get on top of it, and they don't cool. think, oh, I'm going to be fucking 100 feet in the air and fall to my death. Doesn't matter. Just fucking, he grappled a fucking dragon with minus one strength. And still hasn't That's... died from a dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... <laughs> So Eraser, that dragon never got to oh, actually use the crit, so I'm going to refund that. I'm going to refund the crit yeah, on the dragon since he never got to use it. He's going to your ass on these days. <laughs> He's going to get sick of flying and just like, all right, you die. Yeah, all right, John. That was an epic moment, grappling the dragon. Yeah, yeah, there's a storm the of knives from 10 feet off the ground up to infinity, so good luck flying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, if you if you read a PM from somebody in Discord, you can't mark it unread. So that means you got to deal with it right away, because otherwise you'll forget. That's me anyway. All right, let's see. So everybody got their cards. Uh, are we done? Is that it? Yeah, so let me just ask a sort of question related to the caps and rings. So if somebody doesn't show up tomorrow, uh, does a new player show up just sort of inherit the ring and the cap? No. So you might have somebody in the party who can't water breathe who with everybody else who can? Yeah, they're going to, and then what will happen is <laughs> I'll just have to fucking deal with it. Um, I, it, actually... I, I might, I might give the other people, you know, I'll give them something to compensate, but you, but whoever you, the U6 will not lose your items. Like it, they don't transfer anything like that. You I'll just have to, I'll just have out. to wait and see who shows up tomorrow and then deal with it. I'll, I'll but I'll have tonight to think about it. Cause I already, I already kind of did think about that, but I didn't decide what I was going to do about it. 